you know when we recite the Quran, what we say before we recite? We say, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem. We seek refuge in God from the outcast devil. And the Quran, the devil being cursed in the Quran throughout the Quran. And Allah is warning us not to follow the devil. And do you think if it was inspired by the devil, do you think the devil will allow this to happen? Um, no, I, I, w I wouldn't say so. The um, devil wants to be looking good, yeah? Am I right? So that, well, that's one thing. The other thing, if it was inspired by the devil, what the devil wants? Want us to worship other than God, want to worship idols, to do, the, to do all these bad things. But where the Quran is teaching us, opposite to that. Worship this one God, not to associate with God, any partners, not to worship the idols, not to do wrong things, not to fornicate, not to commit adultery, not to drink alcohol, all of these things. So do you think it's a work of the devil? Uh, from what you said, no, I wouldn't say that's a work of the devil. Definitely not. With no doubt, yes? The only thing others can say is that other religions also say... Um, we'll, we'll come to the other religions, I would say. Yeah, yeah. By the way, they say this, but when it comes to the practice, it's something else. Christianity teaches not to worship God, but they technically worship who? Yeah, they worship in a man. A man. Yeah. So that shows what? It basically works of... Yeah, not it's works of... It's idolatry, basically. Yeah. That's how it is. Now, so it's not, definitely it's not the work of the devil. Now, it's, it was, let's think if it was made up by Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah? Now, do you know that there are many verses in the Quran criticize the Prophet, peace be upon him, criticizing him, saying to him, for example, Allah said to, in the Quran about him, Abbas wa Tawalla, means he showed grumpy face, peace, peace be upon him, to uh, uh, the, the, the blind man. The blind man didn't see, am I right? The, he, he and the blind man were alone in the room. So the blind man came after those pagans they left, and he came to ask about his deen, his faith, and he came to the Prophet peace be upon him when he was in a bad mood, because he was he got angry from the others, and Allah told him, and Allah only Allah saw him, and he knows, and the blind man didn't see. And Allah says to him, "Why did you show grumpy face? Why did you show this angry face to someone who came to remember Allah? If it was the work of Muhammad, will he mention this about him?" No, because you want himself to have a good picture. Right? Exactly. Not just that. In many places in the Quran, Allah says, criticizing him. He said, may Allah forgive you. Why have you done this? So, saying this. Yeah, these things tells you it's definitely not the work of Muhammad. Am I right? Sure. Yeah. And uh, as, uh, going back to the point, if it was someone else did it or said it to him or something like that, this someone will, will, will get the credit. Am I right? What is the credit of anyone else apart from God in the Quran? Yeah. Am I right? I agree. Then it came from who? God. We agreed on this. Now, does that make sense to you that the that Quran came sense. came from from God? Um, yeah, from that point, that makes sense. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What was our agreement? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What, one last thing though is I don't know enough about Muhammad. Okay. Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. We said to you, we agreed. So if if the Quran is basically, firstly. Yeah. Since the Quran, we, we agree that it came from God, yeah. or the Quran recognized Muhammad peace of him, as a prophet and messenger of God, firstly. Secondly, recognize all other prophets and messengers. Recognize Abraham, Moses, uh, Abra Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad peace be upon all of them as a prophet and messenger of God. So Quran affirms this. Quran gives them credit, give them that they are honorable people. Yeah, that's one thing. And Quran affirms that Muhammad is a messenger and prophet of God. He was an illiterate man, was unable to read and write. And he came with a book. This book is an inspirational book. This book, it teaches us that to worship only one God and not associate with God any partner. That this book, just only to know this, it is sufficient for us to realize that this book, that Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of God. And there are many amazing things, examples about him. Someone who was a literate man lived 1400 years ago. You are from Cyprus, yes? Yeah. Do you think anyone is able to give us information from the deep in the ocean 1400 years ago? No, and this is the one fascinating thing I've found is that there's a lot of like... Miracles. Things that, yeah, like things uh, that you wouldn't have known back then necessarily. Yeah, it's like, impossible. You know it's yeah, 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 yeah. It is impossible for Muhammad, peace be upon him, to have the knowledge of these things. Impossible. So now here, if it's impossible for someone who's a literate man to bring this information, and this illiterate man, what was the credit? What he gained out of this? What he gained out of this? He lived a humble life, and he died humbly, peace be upon him. And that's who, who he was. Which means he didn't 
gain treasure and things like that. It wasn't what he was after. He was he was tortured. His, himself, his his, his his daughter being tortured, his companion being tortured, just only for what? To worship this one God, not associated with God. That was his mission. He lived and died for that. Peace be upon him. You know what? I've had pretty much all my answers. I mean, my questions answered. Good. So I will have. I will follow the truth and I follow Good. my words. So, so the truth is, 100%. you will accept Islam now, 100%. meaning you will say the testimony faith. of faith yeah. to testify. That worthy to be worshipped except Allah and to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. We'll say it in English and we'll say it in Arabic. Yes? Can I say one thing first? Yes. Is, um, I've, I've had all my questions answered now. Good. So I, I, we are there. I'll be, I wouldn't be a man of my word if, I, if I don't. Islam is a journey yeah. of what? Of learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't I say still to have many more questions. But uh, we are there. Well, we are up. there for you okay. to answer all your uh, questions. Okay. We are there. We're not going to disappear. We're, there. We're going to take your contact details. And then if you have any questions, you are welcome to ask my brother. That's how it is. So repeat after me. Let's say it in English and then we'll say it in Arabic. All right. So repeat after me. I testify that there is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. And I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Ashhadu Alla Ilaha Illa Allah Wa Ashhadu Anna Muhammadan Rasulu Allah 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 that's what matters, my brother. The brother is overwhelmed. May Allah, may Allah bless you, my brother. That's the best thing you have done. This is the best day. Can I take his contact? Yeah, inshallah. This is the best day, my brother. This is the best day. Yeah. You add him to the group. Yeah. yeah. This is the best day, my brother, that Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed you with. Apart from the day that you were born, today you are like a newborn baby with no sins. Allah Azza wa Jal, now that, that's a fresh start for you. Yeah? And always. Yeah? yeah. It is never It is never late. It is never too late, by the way. Yeah? It is never too late. Yeah? Now what we need to do. Do you live in London? Yeah. Okay. What do you do on Wednesday, Wednesday evening? Um, I'm usually free Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening, okay. What is the evening? Uh, we do, we run a Salah course every Wednesday evening. Yeah, because I don't know how to pray. You come, inshallah. What we will be doing, we'll give you first a, a prayer mat today. And on Wednesday, you come, bring your prayer mat. We're going to teach you how to pray. Inshallah ta'ala, so it will be the second important because we wanted you to start. By the way, I love, I love you, you are wearing the yeah, 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 Algiers, course, Algeria. <laughs> you support Algeria. Yeah. I know. Oh, I just wanted to say, like, yes. because it was this time three years ago that come, come close, brother. It was this time three years ago that when I really started asking questions, and I was very, I wasn't genuine, but I felt I knew the truth, but I was just denying it, denying. I know. Defending, defending. I know, but my brother. It's to a point where I can't defend something any longer, and I know, at the end my brother. Day, it's my eternity at stake. I want to seek the truth. I know, my brother. And I will tell you something, yeah, and that's something yeah. which is important. Yeah. Our Prophet, peace be uh, 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 there is oh, sorry, there is one of the one of the people who who, uh, who are accepting Islam. He said, he said the Quran is you will will leave you in two choices. Either you pretend that it doesn't exist, yeah. and just move on in your life that there is no nothing like Quran, or if you know Quran is there, you have to accept it. I can't do that as a genuine person. If you are a genuine person, you have to accept the truth. And I also I got on my hands and knees and I prayed. I said, God, whoever you are. Do not let me die believing in a lie. Let me Good. die believing in the truth. Alhamdulillah, Allah brought you to Islam. Allah brought you to the truth. That's what matters. That's what matters. Everything else is a side matter. Now, Alhamdulillah, Allah brought you to Islam. And we're happy having you as a brother in Islam. And you know, in Islam, you start high. All your sins is like cleansed. Now you're like a newborn baby with no sins. So that's why we, we humbly asking you as a brother with no sins, inshallah, now. Just make dua for us. Say, oh Allah, forgive my brothers. And sisters in Islam, forgive them and grant them Jannah. Just make dua for us. That's all. I will. Yeah. I but but don't forget on Wednesday, 
to make sure that you come to the to the to the salat course. We're going to teach oh, you how to pray. And, and this Wednesday, Wednesday, I'm going to be inside for some. Okay. Then well, the, as soon as I get back the following home, Wednesday, we're going to be here, inshallah ta'ala. But for today, I don't know, maybe you, you, I, you told me you want to leave early, so I don't want to delay you more than that. But by the entrance of the, of the park, ask your brother, there's a brother there, ask him. He's from Cyprus. Well, no, no, sorry, he's Albanian, sorry. Uh, the Cyprus is not there. So just go and ask him, prayer mat, he will give you a prayer mat. So at least you will take it. And as well, we're going to, uh, we, we took your number, and then we, I'm going to send you some clips, things, how to do the prayer. That's only as basics now. And then later on, inshallah ta'ala, you will be late. Or you go home today, just take a shower, you know, and say the, the, the kalima again, which is the shahada. To testify there is no one worthy to worship except Allah. And to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And inshallah, I will get, uh, do you have your phone or, or is it yeah, sort yeah, of? Phone, Let me give you my number. All right, all right, thank you. Brother, what's your name? Could you spell it? Yeah, S-I-D. S-I-D. N-E-Y. N-E-Y. Sydney. Yes. Where ends you from? Um, South London. We're about to sell. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. Lewis, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, that, that's, a, uh, that's a book they have. They have a Quran. Oh, wow. Everything is there. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah? Thank you very much. Okay, okay. my brother. Here's my. Uh, con uh, you can put your contact in here. Where is the phone number? Do you have WhatsApp? Uh, yes, I do. I'm, I'm yes. adding you to a group now. Thank you. No problem. I didn't bring it. Sydney, do you, do you know Lewisham well? Yeah, yeah, I do. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, that's my number, brother. I'll save it. I'll save it. Everything. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I forgot to bring John Thank you. Okay. That's my number, brother Sydney. Brother Sydney, I give you my number. Just text me, please. I will. I will. Yeah. Just text me. Text me, and then inshallah we'll be will be uh, will be in touch. Inshallah, and I will teach you the salah. All right, my brother. Do you have any question for me today? Just to say thank you. No problem, my brother. All right, my brother. We're happy having you as a brother in Islam. All right. Take care. Be careful. Take care of yourself. I know. I know. We done? Do you want to do it? Okay. They call them to the Messiah. I can't go and talk to them. I have destroyed already. Then you know we talk that. Okay, sir. Okay, my brother. Just go to the to the to the entrance. Yeah, and get the mic. Ask him to give you a prayer. Yeah, I will see you. Yeah. But listen, text me. Yeah, text me on on my phone. Just text me your name. Yeah. Just when you get there, just. Me, inshallah, now we'll do that. Okay, now my brothers and sisters, we have Alhamdulillah today. Allah has blessed us. By the way, sorry for the background, anyway. So, sorry about that. So, we sometimes get sometimes bad background. Yeah, yeah, okay, my brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, that Allah enabled us to uh, bring a brother to Islam. That's what matters, Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah that always Allah Azza wa Jal favored us, Alhamdulillah, that with, the, with spreading the truth. May Allah first accept from us, firstly. And may Allah Azza wa Jal increase us in knowledge and Iman. And as well, may Allah Azza wa Jal unite all of us with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the last and the final Prophet of Allah, with in Jannatul Firdaus. And one of the things, my brothers and sisters, that when someone come to ask about his deen, you could tell sometimes some people they genuinely want to ask about their deen. That's what matters. We are we are just only trying to approach those people. Those people who are genuine, they want to ask for the truth, they want to seek the truth. And Alhamdulillah, our brother Sidney today, he took his shahada. May Allah bless him. May Allah Azudal keep him firm and steadfast upon the truth. And inshallah ta'ala will be there inshallah to teach him and to help him inshallah ta'ala to learn about his deen. And inshallah ta'ala, we ask Allah as I mentioned to you, keep us in your dua, all of you, and keep us inshallah ta'ala, uh, you know, uh, you know, just all what you want from you is just your dua, inshallah ta'ala, that's all what we want. And as we keep our brother uh, Sydney in your dua, that Allah keep him steadfast upon the truth. Wa jazakumullah khaira. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta.